Hey everybody, James Akers here, the tie guy. Today we're going to be tying up a really neat looking Brooks Brothers tie. It's a yellow tie and it's made up of a bright yellow color or color with uh, the Brooks Brothers logo in white and a really light baby blue which I've got matching this shirt here. Um, the Brooks Brothers logo is a sheep being weighed, you know, representing wool, uh, mercantile, and that kind of thing. Uh, Brooks Brothers have been around since uh, 1818, if I remember correctly. Uh, so over 200 years old, it's the oldest company in America. Uh, most Brooks Brothers clothes are made overseas. Their ties are still made here in America. Matter of fact, this one here says, proudly made in New York, United States of America, of imported fabric. So they're made in America, and um, I've heard two different stories. I've heard they import some of their silk from Italy and some is definitely from England because on the tags it'll say imported from Great Britain. So, um, uh, you know, good quality product, American made product for a good price. Uh, Brooks Brothers ties average $80 to $90, whereas my Italian ties average $180 to $200 or to $300, $295 to $300. So, um, you know, the it's American made, half the price or lower than half the price of the Italian brands. The other thing is you can go to Brooks Brothers outlet stores and catch these on sale, which I did and I bought like 21 of them. So um, th those are all the positives. The negatives I've talked about before, I, I don't want to beat a dead horse here, but the Brooks Brothers ties are a little bit short compared to the Italian counterparts as far as the length goes. So for someone with a 16 half inch neck, neck like myself that ties a full Windsor, I can't tuck the back into the keeper. Um, and the knot doesn't stay tight the whole day. It does slip a little bit. Uh, whereas a comparable tie like a Ferragamo, it's about the same thickness as this, stays tight the whole day. Those are my complaints. You've heard me say them before, but it's American made. It's actually really well made. I, I haven't had a bad Brooks Brothers product. Uh, so very high quality, good product, fair price, great price really when you think about it. But, um, you know, a couple minor negatives. But if I had to wear Brooks Brothers suits, shirts, ties the rest of my life, I'd be fine with that, you know, because they do make a good product. Let's tie this baby up and see how it comes together. Got to find our spot here. Now, if you need help tying a tie uh, and you want to learn how to tie a perfect full Windsor, check out on my YouTube channel, on my other videos, the ones that say tutorial in them, I actually go step by step on how to tie the perfect full Windsor. Now I'm going to tie a perfect full Windsor right now, but I'm going to do it a little quicker. And I'm not going step by step, but I'll let you watch me do it. And you can watch those videos if you need help though. The key is keeping it nice and tight and checking yourself throughout to make sure it's all right. Let's pull this thing through, tidy it up, bring it up to the top. And we want the tip of the tie, it's this part right here, to be between the top and the bottom of the belt buckle. So let me see what it looks like once it gets thing adjusted here. We are just right almost halfway, almost perfect. So tied that one good, pick my spot good. Let's tidy it all up here and see how it comes together. When you're, when you're tidying your tie up, another tip I'll give you, if your shirt has uh, collar keepers uh, or collar stays, uh, like uh, this one does, make, make sure those don't get caught on your tie because they can get caught on your tie and just kind of bow out a little bit or ruin your tie. So you want to watch that. Let's just make this absolutely perfect. Look at that beautiful triangle. That's what I mean by the perfect full Windsor. We want a nice triangle and look how perfectly symmetrical. Guys, I just don't know you can tie a much better tie than that. It looks really good. Um, tied great. I mean, Brooks Brothers, again, a good product. A couple minor negatives um, and you'll see the one right here. Um, it looks like it barely fits over the keeper, so I can tuck it a little bit, but it's going to come out as I go. You know, I would like them to be a little bit longer, but I'm not going to plan about a, uh, complain about a good quality tie for under 100 bucks. You know, because I'm I'm used to spending a lot more for my ties. The looks scrolling across the bottom of your screen right now, but I'm going to go through it with you. And today we're in a, a blue Ermerna Gildazinia suit, so we have a, an Italian suit. We have on a Brooks Brothers light blue shirt that has a white window pane pattern throughout it. We're wearing a yellow Brooks Brothers tie that has little white and blue uh, sheep uh, for the Brooks Brothers logo. That's why I chose the white and blue shirt because it really brings that out. We're in a light brown Salvatore Ferragamo belt with a silver belt buckle. Pairing that with a light brown pair of Salvatore Ferragamo Oxfords. So tie and suit, tie and belt, tie and shoes, American, American brand shirt, American made tie. Uh, I'm actually because yeah, the shirt was made somewhere else. But anyway, great outfit. I think it looks really good. I've got several Zoom meetings today uh, to uh, help some of my clients out. So I will be uh, showcasing this on the Zoom here. 
Check out my Instagram, TyGuyJamesAcres. You'll see close-ups of the whole outfit, selfies of me wearing, close-ups of the knot and everything else. So if you want to check that out uh, and follow me on Instagram, we've got about 27,000 followers. Keeps growing. We've got a great community of people that appreciate luxury fashion. And I like to showcase uh, uh, that together and show you outfits. Love this look. Ready for work. Thank you.